Fur Bays. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mermaid Zelda slash MZ or whatever you want to call me and today I will be showing you how I keep my wigs on underwater while swimming as a mermaid. This is one of my most highly requested videos so I am so excited that I have finally had time to sit down, film this video, and also take it for a swim. It's actually International Mermaid Day the day that I'm filming this too so it's just like so mermaid it's so magical, we're vibing. And this is my new wig from I'm Style Wigs and I freaking love it. It is so mermaidy. I get a lot of questions from you guys here on YouTube and over on TikTok and even Instagram about how I keep my wigs on while I am swimming and performing underwater as a mermaid, doing flips, doing lip syncing, doing barrel rolls, like all that stuff. And my wigs just stay on very nice and good. So today I'm going to show you how I do just that. There's not just one right way to do it, but this is just personally how I've been doing it. So I am so excited to share with you my little tips and tricks and secrets for keeping my wig on underwater. But before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring the bell notification button so that you never miss one of my uploads. I make new videos here on my channel every single Friday ish. And now without any further ado, let's get right into this underwater wig tutorial. Hello everybody! Okay, so first here is everything you will need to make your wig stay on underwater. You're going to need some little elastic bands. They can be clear or not, doesn't matter. We are going to need a wig cap. This is the kind I use, but you can also use those netted kinds as well. They might actually work better, I'm not too sure, but this is the kind that I use. You are going to need two wig clips that look like this and the most important thing is you're going to need lots of U pins or wig pins hair pins I don't really know what like the proper name for these is but they are pins for your hair in the shape of a U. Um, so I definitely recommend using these and not bobby pins. I'm not really a fan of bobby pins. I don't know, they just like don't work very well. We are probably going to need like one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-ish of these. Uh, twenty might be overkill, but you know what? The more the merrier. So I like to use these long ones. I think this is like, I don't know, is it two inches? Is it three inches? It's like about the length of my finger, if that helps, because they do come in a much smaller size as well, as you can see. So I really prefer the big ones over the little ones. The little ones will work as well, but the big ones just really, really get the job done. You are going to need some of these sort of like 90s clips as well, or you could use bobby pins. I just prefer these ones because they work a lot better in my opinion. Also, I want to point out that there is no really right or wrong way to do this because if your wig stays on while you are swimming, you have done it correctly. Like this is just the way that I do it and these are all of the tools that I need. I know there's lots of other ways you can do this as well. I've seen sort of like wig headbands you can use that really help like a wig to stay on as well. And I do wanna try one of those out. I just keep forgetting to order one, so. Haven't tried that yet. Some people also use glue, which again, totally cool. You can use some glue if you want to. I personally don't need glue for this method, but like whatever works for you works. Also, one more like disclaimer, I have very long, thin, fine hair. So the steps of like putting your hair up and out of the way might be different than mine, depending on what the texture and length of your hair is, but this is just how I do it personally. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your braid and, well, if you have long hair like me, <laughs> I'm going to take my braid and I'm going to wrap it around my head and then I'm going to use a little clip from the 90s to keep it there. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So you just take your hair and you wrap it around and then you clip it in place like this. So this is a good thing to do for a couple of reasons. One, obviously it gets all of your hair up and out so that it's not going to like fall and be seen in your wig, but also your braids can actually act as a bit of a like pin cushion almost. Like if you think of a sewing pin going into a pin cushion for your U pins to stick in and help secure the wig in place. So it gives those pins a little something to like grab onto other than just like your scalp, um, cause that would hurt. Okay, step two is we're going to put on on our wig cap. So I like to start it really low on my forehead, pull it all the way back, make sure that all of the hair is tucked in my braids. 
is in here in the cap and then we're going to obviously slide this backwards right up to like the hairline and there we go okay step three take your little wig clips you're going to use these to anchor the wig cap to your head so that it's not going to slide back and these are used in one more way as well actually after so take your little wig clippy thingy and you're going to kind of pick up some of your sideburns some of your baby hairs and as well as the wig cap and just clip it into place right there and do the same thing on the other side okay so here we go and now it's actually time to put the wig on our heads so let's get our beautiful mermaid wig whichever wig you are wearing today here is my wig and this one is from i'm style wigs they actually sent this one to me for free so thank you very much i'm style and if you would like to get a wig from them as well you can use code mermaid 15 for 15 percent off and i don't make commission from that or anything just a little gift from me to you um these are my favorite wigs almost all of my wigs are from this company so that works out thank you I'm style make sure your little like bra straps you know the little bra straps that they put inside a lot of wigs are kind of clipped in place I just use like the least tight setting so that's what the inside of the wig looks like this is a lace front wig this wig also has these little kind of combs on the inside which also will help your wig to stay in place but I've also used this method on wigs that don't have the built-in little you know clippy thingies and this method still works to keep those wigs on as well okay so here we go first just swing this back and similar to the wig cap I'm going to first put it a lot lower on my head than I actually want it to be and then pull the back down and I'm actually taking that little like comb and I'm sticking it into the braids underneath so that it is sitting in place. And now I'm going to adjust my hairline to move it where I actually want it to be. Okay, so now that the wig is on your head, you're going to take some of these U-pins. Okay, so I told you these little like clippies that we use to clip on the wig cap would come in handy. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pin, you're going to feed it through the wig so you can see where that clip is you're gonna feed this through the wig I also like to bend these a little bit so that they're not so straight um, just so that they kind of lie up against your head a little bit more comfortably I'm sorry I'm talking so much all at once okay take your pin find the clip and you're going to pierce the netting of your wig okay perfect so you can see can you see that right there all right, and now you're going to put it at such an angle that it's actually going to go up into that clip and holding it and then push it right up into that clip. So it might take you a couple tries at first to get it right, but now you can see a little bit right there, that's where the pin is, and it is anchored into that clip that is also holding onto our wig cap. Okay, so now take pin number two and do the same thing on the other side. So we are piercing our wig and we are going to twist and make sure you find that clip and you will feel it. If it hurts a little bit, you're doing it right. There we go. And now it is anchored on both sides. We're now just going to add a bunch of these U-pins all around the wig. I kind of go right at the back where the like wig is kind of touching the braids in my head. I, and I do the same thing of going like down and up. So I've got three pins in here so far. We're gonna do another one on this side of the back. There you go, shove it in there. Cool, maybe I'll do like one more right in the middle of the back. Lift up a bit of your wig here so that we can hide the pin. Take the pin, go down and up. And push it in to place. There we go, da, 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 da. and we're just gonna keep on adding pins. So now there's five pins in here and it feels really secure. Like if you're not going swimming, that's plenty. You'll be fine. You can wave your head around and jump up and down and you'll be good. But because we are swimming, we're just going to add a lot more so that it stays on. So I'm gonna go now to like the side here underneath this braid. I'm gonna go forward and then backwards into your skull. Feels really good. Woof, oh, that was a good one. I could feel that one. Same thing on this side, because you want it to end up going 
this way. So you go first this way, kind of like sewing, if any of you sew by hand. So you go this way, once it catches the wig, and then you go back, forward and back. There we go. We're gonna add a few more. These little guys that I said I don't like as much are actually kind of good for like the top right into your noggin. So I used nine U-pins in here. You can add more if you want, like I said, like up to 20. You can't really overdo it, but just like go based on like how secure it feels. Cause if it feels secure, like it probably is secure. And if it doesn't, then add a few more pins, just jam them in there. Another way to add a bit of extra security to your mermaid wigs is by wearing circlets like this so that they, you know, wrap around your head. Obviously not like this, but you know what I mean? Like things like that. And then you can really yank them, pull them tight to your head. And then your wig's really not gonna go anywhere. I think a similar thing would happen if you use goggles with your wig as well, cause that's going to have a strap come around and it's just going to give you a little bit of extra security as well but you don't need those things. This will stay on on its own as you've seen me swim with wigs many times without actually using like a crown or a circlet or goggles. And that is pretty much it. That is how I keep my wigs on underwater for swimming. You can kind of play around with your wig and adjust it so that it looks nice and beautiful. So now why don't we head over to the pool, give this a try, do some swimming and see how it actually holds up. All right, everyone, it's time to test out this wig in the water and see how well it stays on. Um, if all goes well, it should stay on perfectly fine because it usually does, but we shall see. And I'm in my very rainbow getup today. So let's get in the water. Say, I, I love that. you. <laughs> Say, you. Me. No, you. Me. No, you. Me. Well, Merbays, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you found it helpful for keeping your wigs on when swimming underwater. I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope I did a good job of showing you what I was talking about and that you enjoyed my little rainbow swimming footage as well. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you like wigs or not. Have you ever worn a wig? Have you ever worn a wig underwater? Or are you gonna try it now after seeing this video? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram 
Instagram and my TikTok for more daily chaotic mermaidy content. And of course, just like subscribe and hang out in my, you know, premieres and my, my comments and, and my community tabs. And it's a good magical place to be. Tell your friends. I'm very appreciative for every single one of you who has subscribed and followed me on my other social medias. Without you guys, I would not be here today showing you how to swim with a mermaid wig. And that is the truth. So thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. Thank you for watching and being here. And I think that's about it from me for today. So I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. I hope you will be having a amazing weekend. And most importantly, I hope I will see you here next Friday-ish for a brand new video. And until next time, bye! Mwah.